Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Ew, ew, my countertop is disgusting. Today is going to be a little reset day. I have had an extremely rough week last week, so our house has been severely neglected. I am about to head out and run to the grocery store. It's Tuesday. It's extremely rainy and cloudy and foggy and disgusting outside. The weather's extremely drab out there. I am really excited to just kind of get this place back in order. I just grabbed a new face wash from the drugstore and now I am headed in to the grocery store to just grab a few things. Then we have a few errands to run on base. Then we're headed home for the day. So we're gonna make this quick. We're gonna go get some groceries. I'm so excited. And then we're gonna try to spend the rest of the day at home. sweating so profusely so I think I need to change my clothes I am going to start a load of laundry I picked Dylan up from work in about three hours so I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can in those three hours we are pet sitting for someone currently and little Theo <laughs> Sunny has a new friend for the weekend and I have to take him back tomorrow morning so we're gonna miss him and having him around but it's been a great time. I'm not really sure what to wear. I liked my outfit today but it's still just a little too warm I guess. I don't know how to wear sweaters without sweating to death. This was actually, I graduated from high school in 2015. My friend August, shout out August, I borrowed this from her and or she gave it to me i can't quite remember maybe i borrowed it and never gave it back but that was eight years ago and i still have it and i still wear it and every time i wear it i think of her and how amazing her closet is and has always been so i love this sweater very much but i'm gonna put on something comfy and then get the ground rolling i'm just not sure what it's gonna be yet all right i'll keep my jeans on but i just threw on this like little cropped ish sweater look at this mess this whole entire room looks like somebody puked on it dylan's room like his office is a disaster our bathroom is, is a disaster i need to run downstairs and grab my tripod so on my way i'm gonna take all of our bath towels and robes in one swoop and get those taken care of and when i come back up i will show you this mess and we will tackle it together but i'm gonna run and get my tripod take all these towels downstairs and then show you the disaster that we're working with. change again into shorts and a short sleeve top because just carrying that laundry downstairs I sweated my balls off. Now I'm gonna do the kitchen and then we're gonna put groceries away and maybe do like a little grocery haul but yeah, I had to change again.
because I went to two different stores. Peanut butter protein powder. These espresso mocha black, black rifle coffees for Dylan. Mayonnaise for things of minced garlic. Coffee creamer that doesn't have a lot of additives. Turkey breast for sandwiches. Brown sugar. Dishwasher tabs. A new face wash. Cleaning gloves. A bunch of lemons and limes. Yellow onions. A baguette. Assorted peppers. Tomatoes. Cucumbers. Greens. Blueberries. Apples. Bananas and mushrooms for steaks tonight. Two cartons of eggs. Dill and basil. Dried dill. And an assortment of dried fruits. Apricots, apples, and mangoes. Dylan likes to take these in lunch as well. Coffee grounds or coffee beans. Our puzzle for tonight. This 1500 piece was on sale for 10 bucks, whereas the 1000 piece puzzles were 17. So more bang for our buckaroon. I'm so excited about this. I grabbed a truffle oil, a new chapstick, and a liquid blush, green onions, two bottles of one of my favorite wines, our steaks for tonight, Parmesan cheese, Brussels sprouts, yogurt, strawberry, and blueberry, and lastly, vanilla yogurt and like an apricot peach yogurt. So that is all of our groceries. I'm going to put them away and just continue to tackle the rest of the house. Headspace, but we could risk been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday. And nothing's changed. Mistakes that everyone is making, but I can't change. I'm stuck in reverse like an old Of the way the light is hitting my head right now this is my last one they're not even all on straight but i labeled everything and now i'm going to put everything away so that we can just kind of keep the ball rolling wait what is this 
I forgot one. Whatever that is, I forgot what it was. Oh, it was collagen. We need to make that label. I love this thing. I got it when I was in college and I used to use it to label like things in my planner. It's so stupid because I hated school. Collagen. I used to like, I used to label everything. It's not super easy with fingernails, but we'll be fine. We also grabbed these brown jars from Ikea. It feels good to have all of that done. I think now I'm gonna focus on the floors. I'm gonna vacuum sweep and mop down here before we head upstairs to clean the bathroom and the two bedrooms upstairs. It's 2.30, which means I will probably clean for another hour and then head out to go pick up Dylan from work. a mess for two reasons one I'm lazy two they took all of the furniture that the military loaned us when we moved in so like the bed the nightstands a dresser which means we had to just take everything out so they could take it so this room is kind of a disaster I am going to start here so let's get going in here My headspace, when we could risk, been waiting for the right day like the right day ever comes now it's Friday just a little break while my battery charged I'm gonna keep it on the charger and run and pick Dylan up from work then when we get home we will continue this kind of cleaning reset day I can't believe it's already 3 30 time is flying I just got home from picking up Dylan from work I'm gonna make a Brussels sprouts salad that I found on TikTok Alexa, off. I had to recruit Dylan to do the cutting because I cut my finger on like the second sprout. In the. Why don't you? Why don't you put those in? The yeah. What's this? Uh, um, I there's. Hi guys, it's the next day. My bad for that. I am going to finish our reset today. We'd already hit the gym for the day. We were up this morning at like 5.30. Good morning and let's just kind of see what we can get done today. Okay, I am done 
I have my headphones on because I'm just gonna pop on a podcast while I clean. In our guest room slash my closet, we have to get all of this laundry put away. I need to clean off my dresser, get this area done. I don't know if I showed you guys that I kind of made my closet space in here. All of this has to go down to the garage for cardboard pickup on Friday. Dylan's room is a bit messy. We bought this from Ikea and he built it. So I need to put all of his laundry away. I took this out of the bathroom to give him a temporary dresser until we found one. So I have to put that in the bathroom. All of this has to be put away. So bathroom needs to be deep cleaned. And lastly, the mountain of clothes on our bed. There's still two loads going and one load left. So we haven't done laundry in like a month. I think it's time that we turn on some music and we just tackle this chaos. <laughs> putting his little area back together. Everything looks pretty good. Bathroom looks good. It's finally clean and put together. And in here, it's as good as it's gonna get. My battery's about to die, but that's just a mattress cover and random stuff that was under the bed. I kind of turned it into my closet space. We brought our broken dresser in from outside. I hung on my purses. We have our boots and shoes, sweaters and jeans, then all of our books out of a box. And I like how organized it is. I need to go switch my battery out, but now that the upstairs is cleaned, I vacuumed, everything's great. We're done with the cleaning today. Let's take the boy on a W-A-L-K. My pants are covered in hair, which isn't good, but what can I say? I'm gonna wear my hokas on the walk. You were going to walk? The first walk in a while, huh? huh. Outfit. Gosh dang it. I cut my finger. I'm not flipping you off. I cut my finger on that grater yesterday and I keep ripping it open. I keep getting blood everywhere. I was in the grocery store and getting bread today. I haven't even opened the lighting in here. Put a band-aid on here. Do you know the Muffin Man? That song gets stuck in my head every single day. I sing it probably once a day, but we got our band-aid. Exactly 20 minutes before I need to go pick up Dylan. That should be perfect amount of time to make a cookie dough and just plop it in the fridge. I'm the biggest dodo because I can't find the recipe that I used last time. There's one recipe that looks good, but it's like calling for lemon juice in the cookie. And as much as I would love to try that, it's not gonna happen. So I just picked a different recipe and we're just gonna go for it. I am doubling the batch. Go. The key to the best cookies is one, refrigerate them for a couple of days, two, do not over mix, which 
Most of the time I don't like to use a mixer. Not everything has to be exactly precise when you measure, but do not over mix. That is the key. So you want to do that in as little stirs as possible. And then I'm going to add a half a bag of regular chocolate chips. Then we have a quarter of these left. I'm going to add a half a bag of these. Okay, here is what she's looking like. And we're going to leave it in the fridge for like two days. So if you have patience and willpower, make your cookie dough a couple days before. And I promise you, it will change your life. We forgot to give Theo his water bowls and stuff, so I'm gonna drop those off. But I need to go pick up Dylan from work. stinking Tim Burton character, <laughs> but I just ate some breakfast. I was a little anxious last night, so I bit off all of my fingernails, and they hurt really bad, so I'm gonna go get my nails done this morning. Okay, I'm not even gonna do my hair or my makeup. I'm just leaving the hair ratchety. I put on a sweatshirt and some yoga leggings I got from PacSun probably in 2013. We're gonna go get our nails done. They need fixed. I need to get my toes done. So we're just gonna go spend a couple hours at the nail salon. Are you ready? I love them so much. They're like this green, earthy, and they look exactly like the picture I showed the guy on Pinterest. They look so good. I got a pedicure, and it was the first pedicure since being here that they actually gave me a freaking massage. Since everything is done, our house is clean, we have cookie dough just waiting in the fridge for a couple of days. I feel like this is the perfect time to end the vlog. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching, for hanging out. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. There is a lot of fun stuff that's coming up. I am committing to being more consistent with my posting. Can't wait to see what the future holds. Thanks so much. Bye.